Today we're checking out the Echo Clear keycaps. I have been wanting to check these out the second that they came out and they finally came in the mail. Let's get to it. We're testing them with two different keyboards. One for sound to see how these things sound on an actual nice custom e board. And then one for obviously RGB. So let's get it open. Okay, so right away the packaging is very different from the other Echo keycaps. It's definitely a lot lighter. Uh, so let's get this open. There we go. Pretty typical unboxing for Akko. The nice black box with the Akko logo on top. And then there we go. It's definitely lighter than typical, but I think that's because the case is different. Like that the actual keycaps come in. Kind of different. Okay, so look at this. So then lifting off the plastic, we have some foam and then some like plastic kind of stuff on the top. Oh, that's the bottom. Oh, it's on the top as well. And then there we go. These actually look so different than I thought they were going to, but I like them. Guys, look at those. They look so cool. Okay, the first thing to check, come over here. We're gonna pull up one key. So these are actually shiny. Um, I don't know, I thought they were gonna be kind of matte, like putting keycaps. But the other thing to check is these are actually fairly thick. Uh, now they're not the thickest in the world because obviously they have to let the light through, but look at those. I mean, those are actually pretty dang thick and they feel really good. They're kind of grippy because they're like glossy. Oh, dude, I'm so excited. Okay, so the first thing we're gonna do is we're putting them on this keyboard. This is a HyperX Alloy FPS RGB. This thing, as you can see, has insane RGBs. This thing is the brightest, single, most bright keyboard that I have ever used, ever. Uh, it's a full size, so we're gonna have to put all the keycaps on there, but let's get to it. I am so excited. And guys, here we go. Look at that. I don't know if the camera's gonna pick it up. This thing looks absolutely insane without any RGB on. It just looks so cool like this. It looks incredibly unique. And for all of you guys, if you're gonna put these on a custom board, uh, these are all of the, there's a bunch of different like novelty little faces and stuff in there. There's like a squid and a cow and like a dog and a bird and then the Akko logo. You can also see if you have like a split space bar, something like that, they got that right there and the extra long space bar and all the different shift keys. Is this a 2U shift? No, it's not a 2U shift. But you see, it has great compatibility, which is absolutely fantastic. It also has the command and option if you're on a Mac. So look at that. You could even put this on a keyboard for a Mac, which is so cool. Okay, but let's get to it. Let's turn the RGB be on one thing to not check for this one is the sound this keyboard it doesn't sound the best but it has fantastic rgb that's the only reason i love it all right plugging this in moment of truth oh my god look at that even in this insanely bright room look at my face it glows my face up this looks absolutely awesome okay putting keycaps was one thing okay putting keycaps on this keyboard insane but this this is a whole nother level and i don't know because of the asa profile and because of i don't know it's glossy and it feels good this just feels more customy than putting keycaps putting keycaps feel cheap these definitely are not cheap at like 50 or 60 bucks so they're definitely not cheap they're definitely not putting keycaps let's turn the lights off and guys this is what it looks like this is the only light i have on my face right now absolutely insane now the only thing is the space bar is not lit up a ton, but some keyboards like Ducky 13SF, some keyboards like that have that. This is absolutely ridiculous. Look at that, absolutely stunning. But now we have to test it on this board. This is a Tester 68 I modded. Here's a sound test before with it being modded. And you see, it sounds really good, nice and creamy. So I wanna see, do these keycaps, because obviously they're a different material. Are they polycarbonate? If they're polycarbonate, I'll put it right here. If they're polycarbonate, it's gonna be right here. But I wanna see how this is gonna affect the sound on a custom board. So this one, this already doesn't sound that great. So that doesn't matter. But on this one, it absolutely would. So can these legitimately be on a custom board and not sound like trash? Let's see. All right, guys, and here we go. On the Tester 68, I just wanna say, it looks absolutely fantastic on a white keyboard. Look at this thing. Oh my God, this looks so cool. It looks incredibly unique. That's the thing. Even with the backlight off, okay, which we're not even gonna turn on on this, but this thing looks so good in the light when it shines. Also, the keycaps feel softer, but moment of truth. Let's see how this thing actually sounds, because it sounded really good before. Absolutely. Let me put it up to the mic. Okay, that actually was surprising to me. Now this was a very creamy build before, and I think it might've been more creamy with the XDA profile on, 
but I don't feel like these actually made it less nice sounding. Like putting keycaps will make your keyboard sound more tinny. It's just what happens with these. That doesn't happen. And it's so freaking good. These are incredibly unique. You might look at these online, they look cool, but in person, they feel different. Now they are more grippy because they are, you know, when you pull this way, you're not gonna wanna pull a lot because it kind of sticks to your fingers a little bit. But for typing, they feel absolutely fantastic. However, if you do this test, like your finger, it kind of sticks to it. I don't like that feeling, it's kind of weird. It's like when you're in a playground and you go down to like fireman's post and you hang on, your hands like scrape. It always bugged me as a kid. However, great compatibility, basically on every board as far as keycaps, which is fantastic. The compatibility has been getting better and better with ACCO, which it didn't used to be. Now, as far as the printing, all of these letters are like more bold and then these are super thin, but they match each other pretty well. There is some inconsistency, but for this price point, uh, it's pretty dang good. So as you can see, these are gonna be more bold. These are more bold than these are like lighter. I think it looks incredibly clean. It's an ASA profile from ACO. So this is their own profile. I think it's so good. I think these are incredibly worth it, mainly because they are so unbelievably unique. Who else has a keyboard that looks like this and then glows up? I don't even think you need RGB with this. Uh, although it looks absolutely fantastic, but them by themselves look so good. Pair this with a polycarbonate plate and full RGB, like the Fiker IK75 or the MK870 or a TM680 that's in a clear case. Absolutely fantastic. And did I mention these come in like a black colorway? Like a like they're not black, but they're like that deeper uh, black tone, smoky. That would be absolutely fantastic. Again, if you wanna check it out, there's Amazon links below for the US, UK, Canada, and international links. But yeah, I think they have the smoky, a pink, a like a teal color, and then this white one, the clear one. Uh, absolutely, guys. I wanted to test these out so badly, and they exceeded my expectations. I listed this. How does it sound this good? And it's clear, and they still have good printing on it. Man. Akko did some amazing stuff. I know these aren't gonna sell off the shelves probably because they're a little bit different, but I absolutely love them. This is Consumer Tech Review and I'll see you guys in the next video.